Let me see Naruto. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's the opening round of the Peach Invitational. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, the Eastlake Golf Club is the home course of the legendary golfer Bobby Jones. It is the oldest golf course in the city of Atlanta. This is Rich Lerner with Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. and We'll be calling all the action out on the course today. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in on our featured golfer here at the first. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And of course, you never know what's going to happen. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. This one just requires a little bit of focus. And so just getting started, even par so far. Now with the second hole, first of a really tough set of par threes, Frank. This is where iron play comes uh, straight away out of the gates, Rich. Good iron play is always rewarded on this par three downhill. Uh, it's a big enough green. Good iron players often will have a chance for birdie. A little sloppy off the tee here, and you'll rack up at least four in a heartbeat. All right, hold on one. Oh, that was close, though. Right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole to date. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. And his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction. Frank's starting to make the move. Leaderboard very volatile at the moment, so a lot of move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. Hole number three is a par four. It's only 390 yards. Frank, what do you think the right club selection is off the tee. The majority of players hit like three wood off the tee here. Um, it's a little ambitious with a driver because you don't get any real advantage getting that much closer to the green. If you can carry that right bunker um, and keep the ball on the fairway, you're still going to be left with a full short iron, whether it's a wedge or a nine iron. And that's a scoring club. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one.
and it makes the green in regulation. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. With authority, count it as a par and two under. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in now on our featured golfer here at the fourth. Frank, you have to be impressed with what you've seen from the golfer so far. It's, it's a little extra. Golf ball, super. Shot the human torch to be here for touch four, Marvel. Huge. And also my girl B. Larson has Captain Marvel. She flames on too. With the power of the cosmos. Further than most, rich and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Good swing, good shot yet again. Superb shot. Uh, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Starting to move on this leaderboard now, Frank. It's got a nice look to it. Like a who's who. And now the fifth hole and a challenging par four here. It is 520 yards long, and Frank, it rewards precision off the tee. This is one of the narrowest fairways on the golf course, Rich. Not only that, your tee shots are <coughs> so you're not going to know where the ball finishes up. Shut the hammer with torch, and also, I'm going to be lost in his cut the mower. She flings on also, it's the power of the cosmos. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. This one's looking good. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. And now he has this for the birdie. And with that birdie, moves to third place. Frank, if you're an amateur, you get to this tee box, maybe you reach into the bag and grab that old scuffed up orange ball or pink ball maybe you found in the woods. You don't want to waste a good one here. Either that or get in the paddle boat and just uh, row across to the other side. Well, this lake is normally full, Rich, and full of golf balls, that's for sure. Even the best players in the world, they get the wind wrong and they start flirting with that right side. You pay the price very, very quickly. Um, it's not just a short par three either. This is a decent length for a shot that has to be flown all the way through the air. And with that birdie, moves into second place. We're at the seventh now. Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. And it looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow through. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point.
Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit regulation. Settles in over the putt. Now has a tie for the lead with that birdie. And a pip in the stride. This par four is a dog leg left with bunkers and trees on that left side of the fairway, so that should deter players from cutting the corner. Although often thought of as a birdie hole, this eighth has a relatively small, firm green surrounded by a deep bunker in front, thick rough on all sides. Birdies might not be as plentiful as people think. Nothing to argue about there, right in the fairway. Getting set now for the approach here at the par four eighth, and most important, just to take enough club to carry that bunker guarding the front of the green. Well, you can hear it right off the center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. That is an excellent play right there, the approach. Giving him another good look. Shouldn't be a problem here. I'll tell you, he's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Now rounding out the front side, Finally a par five, it's a 600 yarder. <laughs> Golf ball, shot the human torch, and also my girl, we lost and Captain Marvel. She flames on too, the power of the cosmos. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Second shot. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. Really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. This is the second par five to have been shortened to play as a par four. And this hole requires that the tee shot be long and to the left side of the fairway. That allows players to see the putting surface. The second shot will likely be a mid to long iron into a pretty large green. Come on now. And that green slopes severely. <laughs> back to front left. Go on, ball. Lag Shout out to Human Torch. Back. And B. Larson's got the marble. She flames on. Awesome. With the power of the Cosmos. Going into the green here at the 10th. I'm a zero in now on this approach shot here at the par 4 10th. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 11th hole here at East Lake is just 197 yards. Frank, where's the trouble at this par three? Uh, more at the front, Rich. Um, you can see why high soft landing shots are well rewarded at 11. Very tight in the front of the screen and then starts to widen up. This is another one that's about distance control, iron play. The par threes here at East Lake are wonderful. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. That sneaky distance. Frank, I thought that was in. 
Just a fraction too aggressive. Remember, line and speed go together. Sometimes you want that birdie so badly, and all of a sudden you're faced with a lot of work, more work than you had hoped for, just to make the par. That's a solid par putt. Twelfth hole doesn't look very long on the card, just 391 yards of par four, but it requires some accuracy off the tee, and there is that bunker on the right, and then the bunker short of the green, so a player will have to be precise. And if you can get it in the right spot off the tee, then you have a chance to go with this flag. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Frank, how about the 13th hole? Pretty long par four. It is. Uh, 470 plays closer to 500. The reason why is you're going back uphill. Uh, a slight dog leg left, playing around those two bunkers on the left. Another, though, that you have to flight that second shot beautifully. Uh, that green pinches in in the front, protected by the bunker left and right. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Good swing, good shot yet again. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Will make birdie if he holds this putt. Just an unbelievable round thus far, and 12 under on the day. At the 14th now, 442 yard par four goes downhill a bit. Yeah, you have to hit the ball down the left side of the fairway, Rich, because everything slopes to the rough on the right. Um, ball hangs up on the left side. There is a lone tree in the rough there that uh, often comes into play. Green slopes away from the players to the left. And those two bunkers, the reason why they're pinched in, well, when you're in the rough, you'll find out why they're there. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot. And now a good look at the green. That's how you play the game, right there. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. We mentioned just two par fives here at East Lake, and here is that second par five. It's the 15th and only 525 yards. Yeah, this is a doozy, really, especially where it comes in the round. It forces you to attack the hole. Uh, there's plenty of trouble off the tee. Come on Monday, now. Right now. Solitary go off, go off. Get the human torch. Shot. And we lost us, got the marble. Slightly she flames on, too. The power of the cosmos. Contours. We'll send that ball to the right. This is an all-important approach shot here at the 15th. You want to make birdie, maybe even an eagle. So what's the best way to get that done, Frank? This is where a utility club really comes in handy. Uh, 
it's easy to hit, gets the ball up quickly, and it's going to guarantee that second shot distance that's required to get to at least the front edge. This could be a good one. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Well, he's not going to be real happy with that. Wow. Just a couple of feet. Chalk that up as a birdie for the scorecard. Moving on to number 16 now, 481 yard par four. Another one that's downhill with the fairway sloping from left to right. Series of bunkers down the left side. Um, it's not the end of the world, actually, if you go on those ones down the left. Every now and again, you'll see someone try and hit a driver and try and take them all out of play. Um, is that you? Mm. What a drive. Just tattooed that. Well, this is the point in the round where a player really wants to be focused, dialed in, second shot here at the par 4 16th. And coming off a downhill lie, so allow that ball to go a little bit further than normal and perhaps even take that extra kick. And there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. It's a big putt right here for birdie. Didn't think this was possible, but 15 under par already. Over the last decade, the 17th at 455 yards with that water looming left has proven to be one of the most dramatic holes in golf. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Frank, this is always one of the most crucial shots in any round at East Lake in the Tour Championship. It is the second to the 17th. A high lofted uh, second shot once again required here. Uh, there's a little area on the, on the front that you can use if the flag's there, but when that flag gets back or left, really you have to hit the ball in the middle of the green and just allow that slope to take it here. Very risky to go up the flag. That's well played. Now a good look at birdie. and getting ready for the putt. Wow, I thought he made that. Can't booty them all, Rich. Good roll, solid. That's a par. The 18th hole here at East Lake is a par three, 235 yards to the green. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. These putts keep the round together. So 
So has the par. Moving on to the next hole in the lead, Frank is very much intact. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard. I, I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly. This my song right here. Hey. This is that song right here. Hey. 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 This my song right here. Alright. To break today's fairway 6 2020 CBT number two. Over and out. Hold up. Alright, CBT number two. Uh, over and out. Hold up. I love this song. I love this beat. I love this instrumental. It's amazing. Exciting. Pretty fresh. And it's perfect. And all right, to be T Naruto over and out. Now I'm gonna let this whole thing play, by the way, to give it an acknowledgement. I just wanna say acknowledge that. All right, to be T Naruto over and out. And two days ago was my birthday, February 4th, 2020. I'm 23 years old, 23 years of age right now. And I'm for 22 years of age, 23 years of age two days ago. Like I said, this is February 6th, 2020. And this is my birthday week, currently right now. And February is my birthday month, February 2020 is my birthday month. Alright, CBT now, it's uh, over and now. Oh yes, and with all that being said, I just want to acknowledge all that, and CBT and Naruto, over and out. <laughs>